Good morning everybody. I am Professor Muhammad Wasim Akram. Welcome to all of you in my video lecture series. I have been teaching this course for the last 12 years. These video lectures will be very useful to the students of civil engineering. So keep watching, like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Properties related to permeability. This permeability of a soil is an important soil aggregate property and is useful in several engineering problems. For example, seepage through soil, drainage, rate of settlement of compressible layer, etc. The coefficient of permeability of soil can be determined from the various laboratory and field tests we will learn in separate chapter. Now the unconfined compressive strength. The unconfined compressive strength of a cohesive soil is related to the consistency of clay. It is defined as the load per unit area at which an unconfined prismatic or cylindrical specimen of standard dimension of soil fails in a simple compression test. This table gives the unconfined compressive strength of natural deposit of cohesive soil in term of their consistency. If the consistency is very soft, we can see the unconfined compressive strength is uh, in kilogram per centimeter square less than 0 0.25 uh, it means in kilo newton per meter square less than 25 similarly for soft medium stiff and very stiff and hard clays the unconfined compressive strength is given here in the table in terms of kilogram per centimeter square and kilo newton per meter square now let us understand the meaning of sensitivity. Sensitivity is a measure of the loss in strength of soil as a result of remolding and is thus indicative of the effect of remolding on the consistency of a cohesive soil. Con sensitivity is defined as the ratio of unconfined compressive strength of an undisturbed specimen of the soil to the unconfined compressive strength of a specimen of the same soil after remolding at unaltered water content. Means water content will remain same even after remolding. Here in the table below we can classify the soil based on their sensitivity. Sens sensitivity. If the uh, sensitivity is between 1 to 4 the so clay is called normal. If the sensitivity is between 4 to 8, the clay is called sensitive. If the sensitivity is in between 8 to 15, the clay is called extra sensitive. And if the sensitivity is more than 15, the clay is called quick. As indicated, the soil generally have sensitive value more value of one or more than one one or more than one however stiff clays having fissures and cracks sometimes exhibit a sensitive value less than one since this weakness present in an undisturbed sample will be removed upon remolding Another term is thixotropy. It is the property of certain clay by virtue of which they regain, if left alone for a time, a part of the strength lost due to remolding at an altered moisture content. The higher the sensitivity, larger the thixotropic hardening. Remember, the increase in strength with passage of time is attributed to the tendency of cohesive soil to regain their chemical equilibrium with the reorientation of water molecule in the adsorbed water layer. 
void ratio porosity and unit weight is also a important soil aggregate property these are all well explained in pre our previous lectures uh, probably in lecture number one i will share the link of these uh, videos so no need to explain it again here so please go through or please watch that video i will link i will share the link another important term is relative density or density index the degree of denseness or looseness of natural deposit of coarse grain soil can be measured in terms of their relative density relative density is for a coarse grain soil the equivalent of relative consistency for clay for a clay soil it is the most important soil aggregate property of coarse grain soil the relative density is defined as the ratio of the difference between the void ratio of a cohesionless soil in the loosest state that that is void ratio will be maximum in the loose and the void ratio in its natural state to the difference between the void ratio in the loosest and densest state remember in case of loosest state the void ratio will be maximum and in case of densest state void ratio will be minimum since it is expressed in percentage so multiplied by 100% here e max means void ratio in the loosest state e minimum void ratio in the densest state e natural is void ratio obtained in the field in the natural state if we use the relation e is equal to gs gamma w by gamma d minus 1 and put the value of e in the above equation the relative density will be gamma d max divided by gamma d into gamma d minus gamma d minimum divided by gamma d max minus gamma d minimum into 100% where gamma d max is maximum dry unit weight gamma d minimum minimum dry unit weight and gamma d is dry unit weight in the natural state and this is the test to find out relative density or density index is explained in indian standard 2720 part 14 here in the table based on the relative density the soil is or uh, granular soil is classified as if the relative density is less than 15 it is called it is uh, very loose soil if relative density is 15 between 15 to 35 it is loose soil and if relative density is in between 35 to 65 then it is a medium type of soil if the relative density is in between 65 to 85 it is a dense soil if the relative density is more than 85 it is a dense soil one more thing i want to add here if the relative density is high the granular soil will be dense and will have high shearing strength and low compressibility a loose granular soil is rather unstable especially if subjected to vibratory loads in loosest state the relative density will be zero and in the densest state the relative density soil aggregate properties is activity and it is defined as means activity of clay is defined as plasticity index divided by percent by weight finer than 2 micron we can see in the table based on the activity we can classify the soil as inactive normal and active if the activity is less than 0.75 it is inactive if the activity is 0.75 to 1.25 it is normal and if it is more than 1.25 it is active so 